How's it going everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking at all of the new artifacts that came out with the Eternal Frost Season, and show you how to get them. But first, please consider giving the video a like, and subscribing to the channel, it helps out massively. Now, let's get into it. With the Eternal Frost Season, we got an additional 8 artifacts added into New World, onto the previous 29. If the artifact you're looking for isn't one of the new ones that came out with Season 4, you can click on the video linked at the top right of the screen and in the video description to go over to the previous video to learn how to get it. You can see an image of all 29 of the previous released artifacts on screen now. Also, as a quick note, from the previous set of artifacts, all of the artifacts that can be obtained from the PvP track have had their minimum PvP track level lowered to level 20. So if you were previously required to be minimum PvP track level 50 to get a certain artifact to drop, that's no longer the case, which is an awesome change. Also, the two artifacts that were on the Season Pass have had new ways of them being obtained added now that Season 3 is over. For the Earrings, Endless Thirst, they now drop from the final boss of the Savage Divide, Mahantaram. You do need to have the Expedition mutated though, for them to drop. And for the Light Footwear, Tumblr Feet Wraps, they now drop from Outpost Rush, Reward Caches, but they can only be gotten in the levels 60 to 65 chests. They also tweaked a few of the previous artifacts to make them more viable, and increased odds for everyone getting their artifact drops. But with that all out of the way, let's look at the new artifacts. Feel free to use the timestamps in the video to jump from artifact to artifact. First up, we've got the two new artifacts obtainable on the new Season 4 Season Pass. We have the medium footwear, winged leather shoes, which can be obtained by reaching level 20 in the free version of the Season 4 Season Pass. And then, we have the light gloves, quick draw gloves, which can be obtained by reaching level 100 in the free version of the Season 4 Season Pass. Next up, we'll look at the artifacts earnable through the PvP Rewards track. First up, we got the heavy footwear, the Unmoved. These can appear on checkpoint 3 of the PvP Rewards track, as long as your PvP track level is 20 or above. You also need a player level of 61 or higher. This artifact will cost you 50,000 Azoth Salt. And then, we have the Life Staff, Vengeance. The Life Staff can appear on checkpoint 3 of the PvP Reward track, as long as you have a PvP track level of 20 or higher. You also need a player level of 61 or higher. This artifact will cost you 50,000 Azoth Salt as well. And then we got the last 4 artifacts that can all be gotten in various ways. First, we got the Ice Gauntlets, Deep Freeze. These drop from the Ice Troll boss within the Glacial Tarn Expedition, but you need to have this expedition mutated for it to drop. Next up, we got the Light Legs, Koya's Knee Guards. These can be gotten within Outpost Rush Reward Caches, but only the levels 61 to 65 versions of these chests. Then, we have the bow, Bolt Caster. This bow drops from the open world boss, Annoyed Iguaskia, over in the Elysian Wilds. If you're struggling to find this boss, you need to defeat Pugnacious Purutu first for him to spawn, but he'll also spawn with two other powerful gorillas, so be careful. Defeating Purutu to get him to spawn also gives you a chance at earning the Void Gauntlet artifact, Life Taker, but I highly recommend you do this grind in a group, as it can be very difficult. And finally, we have the Round Shield, Gladiator. This shield drops from the Tribunal Ice Mammoths over in the Elysian Wilds. There are currently 6 spawns of these in the game, as seen on screen, and they're all very close to one another. So this will be a relatively easy grind to get done. If you're looking for or wondering about the rumored jewelry artifacts, Mastermind and Ocean's Peace, they are not coming this season, and instead will come in Season 5, so they will be in the next artifact video. But that covers all of the new artifacts that dropped in Season 4. Which ones do you plan to grind for? And which is your favorite new one? If the artifacts you're looking for wasn't in this video, then it'll be in the previous video, which will be linked in the top right and at the end of this video. If this video was of any help to you, please consider giving it a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps out massively. But until next time, have a good one. Thanks for watching another video. If you want to see the first 29 artifacts that dropped and learn where to get them, click on the video to the left. Or click on the video to the right to see a random New World related video.